Good morning. I'm recording episode after episode this session, three days in a row. I, I just have I just have energy, man, which is weird considering I I was partying until late last night because it was my birthday. Uh, but I I just I just want to play some Pikmin Four. I'm I'm in the groove. Right, administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. Who could this be? Captain Unboxing? General Contractor Corgwin from the home planet of Moyama. When it comes to work, he's thorough, fast, reckless, and presumptuous, which also describes his plan to build houses here. Harmon? Our work doesn't end here. It is our duty to care for and protect anyone we have rescued and hear what they have to say. Except for this guy. We will never listen to him again. Hi, Corgwin. Man, I'm really fast. So far. <clears throat> hey, thanks for the sweet rescue. I'm a general contractor over at Moyama Construction. The name's Corgwin. Just like rescuing folks, construction is all about using your imagination and Dandori powers to get the job done. I, I was thinking you and I could join forces and train for Dandori battles together. Let's get those imagination, ima imaginative juices flowing. Train for battle? Sure. Now we're talking. Uh, plus, if, if we do this, there's, there's a super sweet reward in, in it for you. <laughs> uh, hey there, the, the results you've had in the Dandori battles are nothing to scop at. Way to go. Cool. There's there's a little something just for you, but back to the reason you're here. Uh, let's let's train those Dandori muscles. Get golden three battles. Oh. Weird. If this is the same thing we've done, then I'm going to skip out, skip it out, skip over it, cut it out, get it out of the episode. But if it's new, sure. Yeah! 151, take that, Olimar. <laughs> Chump. You absolute Dandori bozo. No, I'm not playing it again. Hey, you, I was, I was very impressed with your Dandori powers. You better be, you bozo. A jumbo bull warp. I thought that bull warp last night looked a little bit bigger than normal. I didn't really want to say anything about it because I thought it might have just I might have just been seeing things, but that bull warp was huge. It had so much health. And it's apparently active during the day as well. Jumbo. That one word sets an image in your mind. Being larger than others of its species means its heart is proportionally bigger, too, so its devotion to its family also grows. When it savagely bites, it's only doing so to protect those it cares about. The most loving critters can sometimes also be the fiercest. The pyroclasmic pla pi the pyroclasmic slooch. The mucus of the pyroclasmic slooch acts as a natural fire starter, but it also seems to serve as insulation from heat. Gazing into these flickering flames at night would be a great way to relax. And the ripple pattern going from top to bottom is so mesmerizing. Don't think of it as unexciting. This critter's simplicity is quite refreshing. Should you raise one from a wog po a wool wool pole? Oh yeah, sorry. Not used to that. They're not wally wogs anymore. They're wally hops. I'm gonna call them wally wally wogs. I I apologize to any European viewers I have. This is what I grew up with, and it's nothing about insensitivity. It's just. I grew up in this game, it's hard to break the habit. Should should you raise one from a wool pole, you would certainly learn to adore it. The, the adults of the species can be a bit standoffish, though. I've never found that. I found them, um, quite touchy. 
while watching it swim to and fro, fatigue and time just melt away. I'm able to relax this much, even on an unknown planet at the ends of the universe, because observing this aquatic beastie takes me back to the time when I was in my larval state. When it cowers down to roll up, it looks like it's feeling lonely. If you get closer, the needles all over its body become projectiles that will launch at you. I can't help thinking this is just a plea for attention. It's okay, Prickly Bean. I'll be your friend. <laughs> The sight of this wee one bl boinging around and just pecking at its food, all while skillfully balanced on its one leg, is truly awe-inspiring. If you get too close, it might feel vulnerable and give you a warning probe with its beak. Or it might just turn to you for comfort. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do it! Super buff, level 3, for no other reason than I want to! Behold, the strongest dog! He's more powerful than you can ever imagine. He's so incredibly strong. Keep up the good work. Why is your dog so huge? Why do his muscles have muscles? That's actually kind of insane. Look at that butt. Look at his glutes. They're so glutatious and stuff. I would love to go back into the night uh, because I feel like I'm getting a little bit better at it and I want to understand it more as well, but we have gotten kind of a change in directive. We are trying to find, well, really, let's not beat around the bush here, Olimar. And when we were in, uh, when we were in that place, whatever the area that's called, I forget the name of it, the Blossoming Arcadia, uh, I saw him again. And yes, we can go to a new area, but I, I don't, man, I don't want to do that just yet. Man, do I do that? But he's- he's here! But that, man! You can't do that to me! That's- that's hard, that's tough. I really want to go back! You know what? This is my playthrough. The Serene Shores can wait. I have a mission that needs doing, and no matter what they say about Olimar being here, I think He's here because I saw him with my own peepers. We're going back to the Blossoming Arcadia because I have unfinished business. Here we are. No fan fair because we're really not supposed to be here. Oh yes, thank you for that reminder. Switch. And I kind of have realized some stuff that I've been messing up, namely controlling my dog and I've had a lot of a lot of problems switching over to him, but I've realized There we go. They are they are now switched. There we go. Uh the cap or the dog can pluck up Pikmin now. That is what he will go do. Uh let's go Pluck, oh wait, hold why. We're gonna pluck all blues. Oh, actually, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. No, that's not what we're doing. We're going to pluck all yellows because there's a gate that needs taking down. That needs me to take it down right over there. And this is honestly our best opportunity to do so. Let's make some use of the go here mechanic, which is one of the most critical mechanics in, uh, in Pikmin 3, and really, <laughs> you're still there? You must be asleep. Uh, let's change this. Um, can I move? Can Ochi move the cat? He can. So what we're going to do is, Ochi, you go there. I don't think there are any enemies in the vicinity. You swarm that. I really didn't check to see if there are any enemies that respawn. Uh, that's about to break in a second. I just want to make sure that we're safe. Go here is such a uh, integral mechanic. 
And optimal play of Pikmin 3, in my experience, uh, barely even... You, you're barely even playing as captains. You're you're switching, you're, you're constantly switching captains, you're throwing a, a Pikmin, or you're attacking an enemy, and then you're moving to the next captain. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where is it? Oh, it's that. Dig it up. You know, I wonder if the sprout the other day, it's a harmonica. I wonder if the sprout the other day uh, that, that we found was partially sticking out of the ground and that's how Pikmin dug it up. I haven't seen those comments yet. Are you guys dead? Yeah, you're dead. Uh, let's... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. No, our Dandori can't allow such distractions. We're going to go this way. Go around, because we opened this yesterday. We're going to dig that up in a moment. Hold the phone. We're going to move our base. His mouth just moved. It looked like it did. What is that? Feel that in a moment. Swooping snitch bug. I don't have time for your crap. Your crap is not something I tolerate here. I'm gonna move my my base. Boop. That moved him very far. And then we're going to uh, start making some progress here. And this is this is really what I wanted to do. Uh, Ochi is kind of idling at the moment. I don't really need him. I don't know what the, they're doing there. I'll need blue Pikmin in a moment. Uh, you. Ooh. Spicy berries. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Come on, guys. Come here. Good job. Kill him. Make these 16 Pikmin work. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Grab that. Get seven. And I don't need to switch back to Ochi just yet. I'll, I will start digging them up. Digging that up. Perfect. I might have thrown one, two, one, two, few. What is happening with that? I have no idea. Are they? What are they doing? Uh, Ochi, what are you doing? Nothing. Oh, walking forward and starting cussing. All right. It's that leafling again, and the figure lying down over there might just be our pilot. This is no joke, Colin. They could be turned into a leafling, Colin. What are you waiting for, Jeff? Hurry up and save him, Jeff. Oh, Aha! It took us this long to get this cutscene. Wow, we've collected quite a lot of those red berries now. And we have one more, one more spray. After thorough analysis, it appears that these berries contain large amounts of ultra spicy essence. Is that the same exact line of dialogue from Pikmin 2? I think it might be. Huh. Future pal. Run run the research on that. Do diagnostics. Check the database. Enhance. Is it? I have no idea what's going on here. But there's something. You got that. You guys are working. There are four on that. I need one more. But the base is secure. Where are actually all my Pikmin? Hold up. Like, how are they not done? I had like 50 Pikmin s started on that. Where are they? I... Oh. Okay. There we go. They're, they're all here. They're all here. They're here. For some reason, I, I had it reversed in my mind that we took out uh, blues, not yellows. Uh, I do need to get a few blues. Yeah, that, that'll do. Uh, so that I can get that melon over there. The last melon, one might say. Uh, switch. Disband. I'm starting to get into the, the rhythm of things. This is good. Uh, that takes 50. Ooh. I guess I'll wait for Ochi on that one. Uh, which is fine, because we're about to complete a bridge. So you guys, you guys pick that up. Let's start clearing, clearing the path here. Boom. And, in fact, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go grab those enemies, the Cloaking Baronet, and then I'll use the Go Here mechanic, go back to my new base, and wait for... Oh, Ochi will have to attack that from that end. All right. Uh, so, you go here. No, you go back to base. Go back to base. And then Ochi... 
Are we waiting? Are we out? What is happening? Nothing? We're just singing- Oh, wait, there they are. We're not- we're not singing Kumbaya. We are singing... It's- it's done by- uh. I tried. I have- why am I one short? Can Ochi help with this? I don't know if Ochi can help with this. Come on. Yes, he can! Oh, <laughs> okay. He counts as 109 for pushing as well. I probably should have expected that one. And that's open. Uh, Jeff, you're doing your thing. So go ahead and check on, um... Check on... Whatever that is. Is that a valve? What is happening? Oh, sorry. Ochi, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be going... There. Switch back to Jeff. Actually get some stuff done. What is happening? Oh, we're turning it off. Nice. Perfect. Hello, hello. I'm kind of sad now. In uh, in Pikmin 2, my favorite area of the game, Perplexing Pool, which has the best summer music ever, uh, has a, a lot of a lot of uh, pools of water, and in that game, um, you end up draining them. And I always felt bad when I when I did, uh, because then you know it's it's drained and we can't. It it's drained and. <laughs> It looks all barren and kind of sad. Go, Ochi. Grab it. Jeff, we have a bomb rock. What are we going to do next? Uh, hmm. Oh, we can complete that bridge. I didn't even see that bridge. Go! We don't have enough plastic. That's not good. My Dandori, no. Uh, let's... That's not the button. Let's do the button. Pack. Drone. I am learning. Um. I can only get to it from that side. I need plastic. So I'm not really looking for anything besides that. That could be plastic. Let's go to our map instead. I don't see any, so maybe let's just go inside the cave and certainly we'll get some plastic then. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. Let's go into the... Oops. Let's go into the Dandori cave. Yeah. That makes more sense. Dandori cave first, then the normal cave. Let's do it. I almost changed my mind just there on the fly. That thing is floating. That's not supposed to be like that. But then, you know, I think it... Let's go with my original decision. Rescue the kidnapped castaway. Battle in a box. I'm warmed up. I've done two or three days in this one recording session. I'm ready. Kick some Dandori butt. I guess it's le leafling butt. I'm kicking the leafling butt with my Dandori skills. My massive Dandori. So I'm really just... I'm kicking... Dan I'm kicking Leafling butt with my massive Dandori. That's what I really wanted to go with there. So, you have come again. Those who do not embrace Dandori cannot survive this planet. But if they grow the leaves, we can return them to life. I will determine if you have the strength to save them with a Dandori battle. But this time, there will be one more rule. One must be ready to change tactics at a moment's notice. This round, an object or creature's value can increase for a brief window. Those higher values make them bonus finds. When you transport and collect the bonus finds, you earn double the points. Do you think you can out Dandori me, the Dandori Master? I don't know, probably. The split screen is still so weird to me, I'm not used to it. In a single player game. Kill him. Oh, we have Ice Pikmin. Die! Whoa, that was close. Dog kind of locked on the wrong target there, but it's fine. You guys sort that out. Uh, I need to be making full use of the fact that Ochi can pick up hundreds. So, you guys attack that. And Ochi, you take that back to base. Uh, 
bonus thing is him. Do that. Uh, do that as well. Good job. Good job. Smart game. Smart. I like that. Thank you. Thank you for being smart. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. So it gets done in five trips. One, two, three. One, two, three. Five trips. I don't think they're going to brush up with the Bulbur, but if, but if they do, I think they deserve to die. Come on. Orp. Thank you. They did not. They do not deserve to die. Uh, let's snipe this. Stun them. And we're gonna pierce into enemy territory just real quick. Are you gonna... Ign you're ignoring that. Cool. Actually, we're not- we're not gonna... Two, three. One, two, three. Um... Let's see. Dismount. I don't know why I commanded that. Uh, can I command you to go back to base? I only have a couple commands. That makes sense. Go back to base. And I'm overseeing this. Um, I probably made a mistake with that. I probably should have kept him. But I think it makes sense. You'll- you'll see. You'll see. There are a bunch of Pikmin here. They'll, they'll get back by the time it's dug up. Uh, we're going to go after this stuff. Yeah, no, this makes sense. I'm, I'm fine with the route I took. Kill him. Kill him. That hurt a lot, actually. Kill him. Yes, good job. Okay, uh, now you guys. Nope. Dig that up. You carry that back. Switch. Olimar, you're... They're trying to carry that back. I'm not going to... I'm not going to um, kill his enemies for him. Instead, I'm going to focus on just taking his treasures. Resource denial. Switch back to Ochi. He's almost done. Switch back to Jeff. Uh, Ochi will come and grab that lime. Oh, I have some- I have some of my Pikmin here. Um, you guys are doing that. Uh, go do that. I'm stretching my forces a little bit thin here, but it should be fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Ochi! Ooh, perfect. Grab. One, two, three. Grab that apple. You guys grab that. Looks like there is a... A Wally Hop. I should be grabbing that orange, but I can't really at the moment. Uh, I think getting these small treasures is really more valuable because they're essentially immune to enemies, considering how fast they're moving. I think it's best to do it like this. Grab them. Now I'll go grab that orange. I'm just kind of working off the left side of the map while Olimar's working off the right, and it's working out. Wow, that actually- he actually got him. That's, I guess, fine. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill him. I'm gonna have to kill him. Lock on. I have to kill him here. Oh, hi, dog. I don't know why you're here, but you are. Go do that. Freeze that guy. If only to let the dog get through. If I continue like this, I will lose. Yeah, and yet you're going to continue like this, aren't you? Ochi, please don't die. Please don't die, Ochi. Okay. Go back to what you're doing, Ochi. They got this. Drink up. What else can I snipe? That. That. I'm surprised Ochi survived. Good job, dog. I didn't really upgrade him at all. Olimar, you're... You're doing your thing. You're fine. Uh... Yeah, let's- let's bully Olimar a little bit. That- okay. Well, all my Pikmin went on that. How did they go- how did 27 Pikmin go on that one strawberry? That doesn't make sense at all. Can I get this in time? No, I can't. That's fine. I- I got over twice Olimar's points. I'm content with that. Man, there was a point where I was in- I was not in the lead, and then I just destroyed him. Ha! Yeah! Is that a, the best badge? It is. We, I really didn't interact with him a whole lot. 
Like, I kind of let him do his thing, unlike the other times where I just- I, I basically just puppy guarded him and followed him around. Again, you have shown mastery in the art of Dandori. I leave the rest to you. And we have a new captain. Hmm, off they go again. Thankfully, we recovered the castaway safe and sound. Impressive victory, I guess. Transport the castaway to the SS Bagel ASAP, Jeff and Ochi. Eh, that's fine. I'm about to take uh I'm about to take all the Pikmin. Or change my lineup entirely anyway. Uh can there be a few more? I'm I'm kinda in a rush. Yeah. Maybe. Come on. Come on. You know, one thing I've I've wanted to talk about, I've kind of uh I've kind of danced around it, is Olimar. Well, actually, let's wait until we get into the cave, and then I'll talk about it. Oh. Leaflings, there must be a reason. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that a squid person? His eyes are kind of weird. Drafty gallery. Beneath the passage, all I can see is an in... in interminable darkness. I tossed a pebble into the abyss, but never heard it hit the ground. I must proceed with caution here. I don't want any Pikmin accidentally thrown to their demise, let alone shaken off by some creature. Drafty gateway. And it's Pikmin 2! It's a Pikmin 2 area! Let's go! I'm excited. Yeah. I, I fully expected that to be the lineup. Reds and yellows. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> 